On a previous video, I showed you how to do some basic sketching, and this is was the result of it. It's just a, there's really not much to it, um, but it's going to help us to understand the next concept after sketching, which is extruding, which is uh, adding a third dimension to our 2D sketch to make it a 3D object. We basically just pull out uh, the sketch on a straight line away from the plane that it was sketched on. Um, to do this, a couple of different ways of doing it. Um, up in the Create menu, you can go down and find the Extrude command right here. It says it adds depth to open or close sketch profiles. Um, you could also just push E on your keyboard, or if the icon's available up the top of the screen on the ribbon here, click on Extrude. And then the Extrude uh, message window opens up which is going to allow us to do some different things. Right now, it defaults uh, to a few different things here. One, the operation, a new body. That's we want to make something new. Um, starting from the profile plane, that's where we're going to start from. I don't ever change that. I don't even, never even went into it. So direction one side defaults. So when I click in the middle of an area to extrude, um, all right, then we're going to go from that one side out in the direction of this arrow. That's what that means. You can grab this arrow, hold it, and pull it out this way, push it the other way. All right, mess around with that a little bit. Uh, but the other thing is the extent type, we're going to put in a distance. And in this case, the distance I'm going to put in here, just for the heck of it, is 1 inch. 1.0. All right. Um, no taper angle, I don't mess with that. You can if you want, just when you're playing around. Uh, but you notice it only picked this area because I didn't click the other area too. I could do that, I could add to it. Uh, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now to show you something else. So that's just going to one side. Um, you could do it, the direction could go one side, two sides, or symmetrical, all right? So if I went two sides, and if there was some reason I could add a different dimension, you know what I mean? So it's not the same side to side. Uh, if you want to do that, the easiest way is to go symmetric. And it would go that one inch on each side to have a two inch wide part. Uh, I don't use that, either one of those, most of the time. Usually what I'm dealing with is one side because uh, we make fairly simple things, all right? Um, but, you know, we could, we could add to this now too. Profiles, one is selected. I could also select that one to match up with it. So I've got that entire, the entire uh, sketch now is being extruded one inch. And when I'm done, I click on OK. So that's extruding. Now, once you've extruded, <coughs> you can go, you have several planes now you can sketch on. Any of these planes, you could put a new sketch. All right, if I wanted to, I could create a sketch on this plane right here. And I could put a circle or whatever I want in the middle of it, dimension it. Five from there. And okay, fully defined, right? All black. So I've got this sketch now on here, which I can extrude. All right, so I could extrude, I could uh, click on the extrude, click in here. And pull that out, all right, to, and it'll join up together to this, make this all one piece. Or if I wanted to cut through something, I could extrude cut going right through this whole thing. If I bring it through, that's going to make a hole right through this part. So extrude can be used, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great tool because it can be used for different things. Now let's say I want to go and check on that and make some changes to that extrude. I can go down the bottom of the screen to what's called my timeline. And this captures everything we're doing within a design. So the first sketch, the first extrude, second sketch, second extrude. I can double click on anything, go back in, and I can edit that feature. So if I want, only want to go to a certain depth, say negative 1.5, I could do that and make the hole be blind. Um, 
Here's another thing. If, uh, if let's say I didn't like the diameter of that and I want to change that, I could actually go back, double click before this on the sketch, change my diameter to 0.8 this time. And when I finish the sketch, it's going to automatically update the diameter and go back to the same depth. So it remembers everything. Pretty cool. You can go back in time and change stuff and everything updates. So that's, I mean, that's the basics of extrude, okay? Um, we can, I could extrude off of this if I wanted to and make that bigger. Okay, and then say, oh, you know what? I also want to extrude down here, make this this way. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, you can just keep messing around with extrudes, but usually instead of doing this kind of thing, it's, it's really the best practice is to do a new sketch, make the extrude on a plane, uh, the sketch on a plane, and then extrude that. And that's, that's kind of the basics of uh, extruding, but it does require a sketch anytime you want to do, do an extrude, whether it's a cut or extruding to three dimensions.